All right, guys. So now something very special is about to happen. Um, something that RJ and I have not done in quite a while. Mm -hmm. Mobile High Squad. But it is very, very necessary. Mobile High Squad. The thing we are going to do now is this. Check it out. Hey, guys. Welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We're working okay. out. Hi, Edmark. Hi, Raquel. Hi. Hello, guys. Yes. RJ, are you ready to work out? Yep. Let's do this. Oh, man. We needed to do this. Home workout, guys. All ready to sweat. By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join the Mobile High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. OMG, it's Miss Universe. <laughs> okay, they're gonna announce the top 20. Is 20 or 21? Top 21. That the, uh, the aliens were talking about yesterday. Guys, did you see yesterday's vlog? I was talking about aliens. Or did, don't call them aliens. No, they're Miss Universe. Yeah, so. they're from the universe. Okay. They're actually all from the Earth, but I don't know why they call it. RJ, by the way, is a pageant <laughs> expert. For fun, he will like watch pageants, he studies it, he really is the master. He knows the names of every pageant contestant. No, okay. I don't know that. Guys, it's his hobby, pageantry. <laughs> RJ, who are your top five, five. picks? Of course, Philippines, <laughs> then Thailand. Thailand. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. India. <laughs> and Nepal. Nepal, I knew it. RJ's been going on and on about Miss Nepal. She apparently has some potential. What are the strengths of Miss Philippines? Miss Philippines? Yeah, her strong points in this competition. I think she did well in, during the swimsuit competition. Nice She's also swimsuit. very articulate. She's super articulate. Every time she answers a question, it's always, and it's always coming from her heart. It's very genuine, I think. Authentic. Okay, guys. Colombia made it through. Congratulations, Colombia. This is for top 21. Peru. Peru. Congratulations, Peru. Australia. Australia. Congrats. France. France. Felicitations, France. Myanmar. Ooh. Ooh. Congrats, Myanmar. Congratulations. Jamaica. Ooh. Jamaica. All right. Philippines, come on. Mexico! Alright! Congratulations, Mexico! Wow, it's beautiful. I love Mexico! Dominican Republic, congratulations! She's very beautiful. She's one of my favorites. USA! Alright! Congrats, US! Beautiful. Hello, Indonesia! Wow. Indonesia, congrats! Argentina! Yes, congrats, Argentina! Philippines, come on. India! Congrats, India! Yay! So, um, one of the things regarding this competition that I'm looking forward to is it's the final, like, talk about social issues. Mm -hmm. So, Myanmar made it. So, she's probably, if she makes it to the top, I would love to hear her thoughts on the, you know, the events that are happening in Myanmar. Now, India has made it, and I'm sure if she makes it to the top, RJ thinks she will. Mm -hmm. um, she'll talk about coronavirus uh, th that's like devastating the country. Okay. Curacao, congratulations! Wow. Yeah, I, I'm interested to hear about their social issue aspect, their advocacies. And that's, I mean, yes, beauty pageants are like, oh, beauty, wow, wow, wow. But I love to see what the women are about, like what they stand for. That's personally my favorite thing. Um, and I believe there's a Miss Israel too. I would love for her to make it to the top because I want to hear her words on like everything that's happening in Israel and Palestine right now. Me too. These are like things that th these are what I look forward to in these competitions, like social issues and, and their stance on it, especially like controversial ones. Puerto Rico. Congrats, Puerto Rico. 
One of RJ's bets. See two of my bets already. OMG guys, so they've gone through the two sets. There's now final seven that they're going to announce as part of the top 21. Of course they leave Philippines till the end. <laughs> because they know all the Philippines is watching at the edge of their seats, creating reaction videos like we are. <laughs> guys, for Filipinos, beauty pageants are like a big deal. It's like boxing. Yeah, boxing because of Manny Pacquiao and beauty pageants are like the national sport of the country. <laughs> okay guys, it's commercial break. RJ, who do you think will make it through in this final stretch of top 21? Well, I have the Philippines. Obviously Philippines. Go Rabia. Uh, Nepal. Nepal. Thailand. Thailand. Oh yes, guys, her national costume though. Wow. South Africa. South Africa. Brazil. Brazil. All right. And Romania. Oh, I would love to include um, Vietnam. Vietnam is RJ's seventh <laughs> contestant. You guys are laughing because I was saying that RJ should be a judge at Miss Universe. <laughs> RJ, claim it. If I, I if at least if I get happen. at least uh, three or four, then you're good. <laughs> guys, RJ has a, a wild card. Who is your wild card? Canada. Canada, yes. Beautiful Canada. All the Canadians in the house. Mm hmm. The 15th delegate. It's so interesting. This universe is Philippines. <laughs> Yay! Congrats, Miss Philippines. Go, Rabia. Oh, I'm so proud of her. This is Rabia of San Mateo, all the way from the Philippines. Yay. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And guys, she's from Iloilo. You guys know Iloilo, right? That's where our farm is. Now I am a teacher and I hope that my students will see the value of education the way that I saw it. I live in a country where Her advocacy is education, guys. And education is our social equalizer. That regardless of what background you have, what status of your family, if you educate yourself, you will be able to land a great job. Oh, yay! Smile, Rabia, smile! <laughs> so RJ was correct. He got one. Brazil! <laughs> Brazil! Wow, RJ, you're good! Two already. One belongs to Great Britain. Oh, oh congrats, UK! Awesome. Miss UK is from X Factor. She's from a reality singing competition. All right. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. All right. Congrats, Nicaragua. Thailand. Yay. Wow, RJ, that's three. Oh, I love Thailand. Thailand is probably one of my top favorites as well. She's also from Canada. Oh, and she's half Canadian. There you go. Costa Rica! Ooh. Costa Rica! Alright! I would love to visit Costa Rica one day. One more spot. The final contestant in the top 21 and the winner of what was the largest fan vote in Miss Universe history Miss Fan, is the fan vote. Vietnam! Vietnam! So yeah, knew it! Yeah. RJ, you were correct! Guys, he got four right! More than half! Nepal didn't right. make it. Hi! Happy Miss Universe She's my RJ was favorite. really rooting for Miss Nepal. But she didn't make it. Alright, well congrats to the top 21! The dogs are just hanging out, playing with each other while we're watching. Yes. Okay guys, while waiting in between commercial breaks, let's see our positive affirmation for Monday, May the 17th. I appreciate and care for my body. My cells have eternal youth. Ooh, love that, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation and take care of your body. Go, go, Rabia! She's walking down. Oh, she looks so good in her bathing suit because she comes from a country with the best beaches. Oh, go, Rabia. She really glows. Oh, Costa, Rica. Costa Rica. Okay, here we go. They've been announcing. Who else made it? Costa Rica, Thailand Spot made it. Number nine is divine for Mexico. Mexico. Final spot. One spot. In the top ten is. I'm not sure. Brazil. Brazil. Okay, but did Philippines make it? I don't think so. Oh my God. There was like a commercial break and we, we missed the announcement. Mm. Congratulations to our top 10. One of these impressive women will walk away with the Okay, so the top 10 was announced. 
We're trying to see who made it. Oh, okay. Rabia, Miss Philippines, didn't make it. However, we are super proud mm -hmm. of her for making it this far. Um, she was kind of an underdog because, first of all, this was her very first, like when she competed here in Miss Philippines, that was her first pageant. Guys. I think that was her first national pageant. Yeah, and like all of a sudden she won that and now she's at Miss Universe. Um, as like a, for context, our previous Miss Universes, um, Pia Wurtz back, who remember that uh, Miss Universe where the host announced the wrong winner and then she ended up winning. It was really her. And then, um, um, of course, Catriona Gray, who won Miss Universe. Now, both of those have done pageants before. Like, they had to keep trying and trying mm -hmm. until they won. Um, but for Rabia, this was like really her first shot and she made it so far. So, we're really, really proud of her for representing the Philippines. Um, her performance was so impressive. And congrats, Rabia. We're so proud of you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, they just announced the winner and I'd like to extend a huge congratulations to Miss Mexico. Yes. Congratulations, Miss Mexico and to all the contestants again um, congrats for representing your respective countries um, to Miss Philippines Rabia congrats we are so proud of you another year wrapped up now <laughs> I'm interested to see other people's reaction videos especially of Filipinos they're always so funny now I know there are a lot of people who feel that beauty pageants are very superficial you know they're they're kind of like worthless and shallow competitions but I, I do respect the craft first of all because I know a few beauty pageant uh, friends of mine and there is a lot of training guys that goes into it it's not like it's just beauty you go up on stage and you look good there's training involved from walking to your face to answering questions like there's a lot of preparation that goes into it and I respect that I respect any kind of craft that requires you know training and that and that kind of thing like that really takes a certain personality and a certain character to commit to in my opinion so yeah I do respect beauty pageants um, and second of all I also realized that Miss Universe is more than just outward beauty but it's also like inner beauty and, and their brain and what they stand for again as I mentioned in that respect yeah I do find Miss Universe entertaining and it's always good when Miss Philippines wins <laughs> right or makes it past the next cut um, but again it's, it's what they do I think after the competition that really matters as a product of a competition myself, i.e. Canadian Idol, which was broadcast nationwide um, in Canada. I've learned that no matter what place you come in, it's what you do after the show that really counts, um, that makes you a winner. So yeah, anyways, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Are you guys happy with the results of this year's Miss Universe? Let me know in the comments. Yes. All right guys, and now I have something really cool to show you that just arrived that I've been waiting for for such a long time. We really, really need this. And maybe you guys do too. Mobile High Squad, check out what just arrived. <laughs> 